This is Artifacts of Mars. I hope you forgive my uh, webcam. It's not working correctly. It's not capturing a lot of the frames, so it's going to look a little choppy. I hope the sound works out all right. Get the kids out of the room. Uh, yesterday I learned of my misfortune that New York State had outlawed the only good rat poison that there was on the market. It's these green pellets that are in an open tray and rat would come along and eat them and wander off and die. Or mice. They were effective on rats and mice. It was a good product. But some commie liberal somewhere, and I have not found who did this, by the way. When I find out, I'm going to go on a campaign to have them removed from office. Uh, some commie liberal decided, well, we can't have that anymore. Uh, it's making it too, uh, it too easy for homeowners to kill off vermin. Do you want these fucking things in your house? I don't. So, look what they foisted on us. Take a look at this. Hope well, you can see this. This is a box. You can just about see the green bait in there. Uh, this is worthless. And I don't know what's in it as far as... I'm going to read the ingredients on it. It says, here's the back of it. Tomcat Rat Killer. Like I said, this is worthless. Rats ain't going to go in this. Now when I get done with this, I'm going to find the best way... When I get done with the video, I'm going to find the best way to pry the lid off this and... I'm going to take that out, and we're going to see what we're going to see. It's got, uh... Bromethylene, is what it says it has, 0.01%. Inert stuff, 99.99%. I can tell you right now, this is worthless. There ain't no rats gonna go in it. As it is, it's completely, utterly worthless. There's no point even buying it. And they have it configured inside there. You really can't see it on camera, but they have the bait almost 100% walled off, so the rat couldn't get at it even if it wanted to. I mean, there's just no way. He can stick his nose in a little bit, I guess. But this is what they foisted on us. I'll use Tomcat uh, traps. I didn't realize what I was buying or I wouldn't have bought it. That's worthless. It's not going to kill anything. As is. Like I said, I'm going to pry that bait out of there with a screwdriver. I'm going to leave it set out in a dish. Now, there are three outcomes here. A, the rat eats it and dies. And I think that extremely unlikely. B, the rat turns up its nose. Or C, the rat loves it and goes on merrily on its way and doesn't even get so much as a tummy ache. This is unbelievable. These people have so much disrespect for us that it's beyond belief. That by itself is not going to kill any rat. I can guarantee you that. Like I said, I'm going to have to take the bait out and set it in the dish. The reason I know it's a rat is it got a hold of a loaf of bread, more than one loaf of bread, and would uh, haul it right to the floor and chew it open. Much too strong to be a mouse, whatever it is. I also saw, and the reason I don't believe that it's going to uh, even touch the bait is I, at first I thought it was a mouse, I set out mouse baits and didn't touch those. So, 
Here's the deal. We gotta find out who did this, and they have to be removed from office because they're lunatics. They're endangering public health. They don't want you to be able to kill vermin, is what it amounts to. And so they are, by that fact, they've shown them whoever they are, they've shown that they are uh, incompetent and must not be allowed in any public office. So we got to find out who in New York State did this and remove them from office. That's as simple as that. They've got to go. So, so far, I called up Bill Moje's office concerning this, and they were supposed to call me back, and they didn't. I didn't get any information back from them, so that says to me that they don't give a flying fuck what uh, we think. Bill Moje's my representative, and I told him, you know, I need to know who did this. Uh so we can get them thrown out of office. You people never, Americans don't learn, all right? You saw what happened in Boston when that police state there, what they did. And, you know, everyone involved in that should have lost their jobs immediately, including the entire city council, the mayor, everyone. I know we had a mad bomber on the loose, but they violated so many rights that uh, there was no excuse for it. And people never learn. You think, uh, well, it's for our safety. Well, horse shit. But, uh, they wouldn't outlaw guns if it was, if they were concerned with your safety. And in Philadelphia, they had a monster police state for the Pope. Fuck the Pope. You know, why is he so important that they have to shut an entire city down? Now I have security like that when Billy Graham comes around, or Franklin Graham, or whichever the one of the Grahams is doing the preaching now. So the way I see it, fuck him. They love this Pope, boy. They think he's, he's the apple of the uh, leftist eyes. Anyway, I'm getting off subject. So, New York State wants you to have to basically live with any vermin that come in your house and spread disease. So, they're endangering your lives with rat and mouse diseases uh, by doing this. These, I'll show you one more time. And there is a mouse version of this. It's much smaller. It's similar but it's also worthless I don't know like I said I don't know if the bait is any good or not whether the poison is any good my guess is more than likely it isn't I'd say 99% probability this wouldn't uh, hurt a fly let alone a rat and the reason I say that is if they're so arrogant that they're going to make force to use something like this that's completely useless and the rat can't even get to the bait then odds are really good that these sons of bitches don't want you to uh odds are really good that the sons of bitches have made the bait so that it's useless and won't uh, harm a rat or a mouse. Well, I'm not going to go eating it. I'm not that stupid. Because what if I'm wrong? <laughs> well, besides which, wouldn't that be terribly appetizing, I don't think. But, uh, anyway. So, we got to find out who did this and remove them from office and reverse this so we can have real rat poison again. This will not work. Purely in the subject. It's got little, uh, veins in there that will prevent the uh, rat from ever getting to the poison. I don't know if they extend all the way down. They might not. 
Rat will never get to it at any rate. The mouse might, the rat won't. This is just beyond belief. But if you know who uh, is responsible for this, uh, kindly do leave a message on my uh, video thing, video page for this, and we'll try to get him removed from office for gross incompetence. I'm fucking hot, boy. Now, there's supposed to be a type of po rat poison you can make. It's not especially dangerous to humans. What it is, I don't know the proportions, but supposedly you mix up some cornmeal and some flour and some plaster purists, and you leave a uh, bowl of water nearby, and when the rat comes to eat it, he gets plaster purists in his stomach, and then he goes and takes a drink of water, and plaster purists hardens and kills him. I think that's folklore, but it might not be. I've seen it on the internet, so I'm uh, on wiki how-to, so there's a chance that it might work. Anyway, wake up, people. This is tyranny, plain and simple. When I find out who's done it, I am so going to rip some people. I'm on the facts of Mars. This is a mental disorder of liberalism. It's pure communism. Uh, we got all those issues. We got that uh, terrorists who killed them people in that college in Oregon. You gotta look into that. And our facts, Mars. Thanks for watching.